This could be perfect or this could be a mistake. We don't have much experience anchoring in really deep water. We have all of our chain out. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. What a beautiful morning on the Hudson it is today. It's been a little rough the last day. We kind of had that weather that we had coming into this anchorage here at Bannerman's Castle all day. It was rough, windy, choppy. There was a little protection here because it was coming out of the same direction that the uh, island is behind, but not that much. Today is supposed to be the same, but we have a brief respite here in the morning. So we're gonna try to leave. We have the tide with us uh, until 6.30 and we're gonna try to see if we can make it to Poughkeepsie or we, we have a couple plan B's to see uh, if that anchorage isn't that nice. It's not very protected, but it's just one more day of bad weather. And we really wanna explore the Hudson. Uh, it's just so beautiful, it's unreal. And we had a cold front come in. So it's 50 degrees right now, <laughs> chilly. <laughs> We got a puppy. We got a sunrise. And we got Jennifer's up. It's time to go. No comment. The water is so much warmer than the air. The air is freezing in it. The water is like room temperature. <laughs> this could be perfect or this could be a mistake. But I'm going to try to cross this. Instead of coming how we came in, which was down here, it should save us a good amount of time. And according to Navionics, we do have depth four and a half feet right there. Uh, four to five is what these call. This is three to five, four to five, five to six. And uh, it's high tide, so we got another three feet, so it should be good. gotten the best night's sleep. Although the holding was really good, the wind has just been relentless. It's been like, I think 20 knots. Or more. 20 knots of wind plus gusts. Sometimes in the day it'll go down into the 15 range, but it's been a pretty windy few days. And just like in the middle of the night, we'll be woken up if, if it gets wind versus current and the boat is just slapping around. So it's just been, it's been a lot. Very cold with the wind chill. Man, I got my long johns on, my flannel, wearing three layers on top, three layers on bottom, socks, wool shoes, beanie. Yeah, it's, it's a little chilly. And it's June, towards the end of June. Today's Father's Day. 
We're freezing. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers watching our channel. And belated, of course. We are going slower and slower and slower with each passing minute. The uh, tide switched at about 7 here uh, in Poughkeepsie and it's coming up, it's, uh, it's about 7.50 right now so slowly we've been getting more and more and more current against us. Uh, we were going 7.5 knots earlier, we're going 6.5 now, it's slowly getting less. I see 6.3 and our ETA has gone from 8 a.m. to 8, 10 a.m., which all things considered is not too bad. If we were to cruise any further, it would start really impacting us because the current here is pretty incredible. So we, overall, it seems like we've planned it so, you know, all right. We have about a mile and a half left. Um, we'll probably won't get there at 8, 10, maybe 8, 12, 8, 13, but not so bad. Just like that, we're here. This is the anchorage right over there. Turn off Marco, the autopilot. We've named him Marco because Marco Polo is trying to find its way. And uh, let's skirt, skirt on over to the anchorage. Like every day on the Great Loop. Uh, it is still unknown to us if this is going to be a good spot to sleep uh, or just drop the hook. Let's check it out and hopefully walk around for gifts. Right now we're at 60 feet. 60? We're a little close to shore, but it is super deep. We're at like 50 feet and it's really, really deep all the way to shore. We don't have much experience anchoring in really deep water. Um, the deepest water we've anchored before this was up in Key West and I think it was like 30 feet and it was not you weren't comfortable with it. But uh, here on the Hudson, it's just so deep. It's the valley, it's Hudson River Valley. It's just so deep. Um, we got a good bite. We backed down on it like at 1100 RPM. We have all of our chain out, 150 feet of it. Um, so we're about at three to one. And I know that there's some anchoring dynamics in deep water, which means you actually need less scope. Uh, than if you were in shallow water because the weight of the chain is so much that your cantonary Which is kind of like the dip in your chain which keeps your anchor level which keeps it dug in is It's just a different ratio needed. So I we think it's fine We're not sure if we're gonna stay here tonight or just stay here for the afternoon until the tide switches again But we're gonna make sure the boats good here Then hopefully explore this is something new. We'll see how it works. Well, we spent the last two hours working on our laptops, getting one of our videos uploaded and released, and the boat hasn't moved. We've had some pretty big wakes from barges and just pleasure boats. Uh, the wind picked up for a little bit, sort of not too rough right now, 
Uh, we didn't move at all, which is a good sign. And we're at max current, which is also a good sign. So we were gonna originally just have me stay on the boat and Jen was gonna go walk around Poughkeepsie, but I think we're both gonna do it. We feel confident. Knock on wood. We walked all the way up the main drag into downtown and uh, didn't really see that much. We would have loved to explore more, but you can only dock your dinghy for 15 minutes. So our 15 minute timer went off. We're going back to the dinghy. And also pivots anchored in 50 feet of water, like 100 feet from shore. So we'd also like to be by pivot as well. If you come to Poughkeepsie and there's a couple of marinas around here too, so that's an option. They have the brewery, which seemed pretty cool, uh, and a few good restaurants. All the people that are driving uh, down the street are like, wow, they're probably thinking, wow, there's a boat there. <laughs> driving to pivot. The Riverside Park here is awesome though, and it seems like the community really uses it. It's a beautiful Sunday. Of course, it was cold on the water, but it's 10 or 15 degrees warmer on land. It's not bad. Hi, Fred. Thanks for still being here for us. We rapidly had to pull up our anchor because it turned into slack tide and pivot was getting pushed towards the rocks. As we pulled up our anchor, our windlass stopped working as we noticed a giant log was caught on the end of our anchor. Fortunately, Elliot was able to pull it off and it was just the fuse that had popped in our windlass. We had only a few miles of cruising with the current to Mills Norrie State Park where we'll be exploring tomorrow. Thanks for watching.